everyone, this is a quick run through of the new mini catalogue which launched at the beginning of this month and also the celebration brochure uh, for some of my customers who missed my online uh, catalogue launch on Zoom last night. So this is the new mini catalogue and hopefully most of my customers, if not all, will have this mini catalogue in their hands to look at themselves. So you can see a lovely um, picture on the front. This is this Christmas lights um, bundle that have been used to make these trees. So uh, first I just want to point out um, this picnic lunch box, uh, bag that's got this card kit which makes nine cards in it and for every one of these sold £2.50 will be sent to support organisations working to end food insecurity. This would be a good present for somebody that you know who's not a, a seasoned crafter, uh, something they could take away in the bag because it's got adhesives and all the embellishments and everything in the kit. They could take it away into a caravan or on holiday to do a little bit of card making and have a little lunch bag to use afterwards as well. So just to show you that. And uh, then just moving on, uh, the candy cane sweet, which is lovely, um, real red. Um, I think it's, let's see what the colours are. The colours are real red, I think, and garden green. So I'm just going to show you the ribbon from that. And also I've got the sequins. So that's the ribbon, lovely soft satin sort of ribbon, which uh, ties into a really nice bow. So you can see here if I just pull that. That's a lovely bow with the ribbon. And then these are the sequins. So I got these because you've got all the Christmas colours again. The green, uh, the red. And if you wanted a darker red, you could just use your blends pens to colour those. There's the green, the gold, and there's iridescent that you could colour any colour. So not just Christmas projects, any project actually. So those are the sequins that I um, think are really useful because they're adhesive backed. So you can just use them straight away without having to put any adhesive on at all. Um, the red and white glimmer paper there will be similar in colour to that. You get four red 6x6 six six sheets and four white 6x6 six six sheets. And this is a retired glimmer paper, but this doesn't shed. So presumably it will be like this non-shedding glimmer paper, which is really good. Um, and designer series paper there, the candy cane designer series paper. I'm just going to keep this a bit short. So obviously people can look through the catalogue themselves. Just going to point out some iridescent gems there, which are rather nice. You could colour them with blends pens. You've got the Memories and More um, card pack here, 10 green cards and envelopes, 10 red cards and envelopes. And then you've got the Memories and More um, cards there to do with Santa and things like that. But I'm sure the other side is probably non-Santa. And don't forget those embossing folders up there as well. Uh, these are the sort of things that could be easily missed as you're looking through the catalogue. So, um, and I pointed out last night, these lovely gems here, which you can find more uh, about at the end of the catalogue and their adhesive bat sequins and gems uh, you get 180 for seven pounds so they're really lovely they obviously go with the snowflakes in this set uh, here's a nice quick uh, bundle with a punch uh, which is a lovely shaped punch to cut out those two um, stamps there and also you've got other greetings and so on um, and then don't forget the wooden elements here, which are really useful um, for your projects to just, just add a bit of extra. You can see them being used here. Uh, and then on this one, you can see they've been coloured to match the, that's from the designer series paper. So this is beautiful. The Holly uh, designer series paper is really pretty. Uh, this uh, jingle 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 you can use do this with your stamparatus and hinge step stamp apparently it fits perfectly for hinge step stamping so that's useful to know and then we come on to the first suite that I actually this is from last year this paper which is absolutely gorgeous the uh, painted Christmas designer series paper it sold out I think last year but that's a really lovely set if you just want a simple stamp set to do with family and friends and if you like colouring as well so the first set I'm going to major on is this Lights Glow Suite. I'm going to show you some cards from this set. So um, there's one using the snowflake. And then there's another one using the snowflake. And you can see I put gold glimmer paper behind and also um, an evening evergreen um, snowflake just sticking out. Um, this is the gorgeous paper. Uh, that goes with this set. It's um, called, I'll just grab it, 
It's called Lights Aglow 6x6 paper and it's absolutely fabulous because one of the sides, uh, it's speciality paper, has got gold on. You can see there's there's two cream. I think there were two evening evergreen, that one and that one. And then there are two soft succulent, that one and that one. You'll see these a lot in the card samples that I've used. Then that's soft succulent as well. Then you've got three cherry cobbler, one, two, three, and then you've got two black. And they're all absolutely gorgeous. You can see the lovely gold on that side. And then you've got uh, some bouquet uh, on some of them and lovely designs on the other side. So actually hard to choose between the two sides, but you can see I've used those papers in this card and also in that card. Um, this is a card with the Christmas tree. Um, so I stamped it in gold with the Versamark and then used gold embossing powder. And then I used the die to cut it out. And I, I cut out some gold cardstock to go underneath. So hopefully you can just see it shimmering there. And then this is another one where I put some gold um, thread behind there. Uh, this is from the annual catalogue. Um, it comes in a pack with gold and silver and it's really nice this um, twine just to add an accent. Now these are really lovely um, adhesive backed gems. Uh, they come in gold, silver and red. I've used quite a few already. I'm going to have to get another pack of these because they I keep on wanting to use them on all the Christmas projects. Red, green, silver and gold and they're lovely uh, these are pearls these are more like gems really lovely those well worth using um, and then this is one that is in blues so silver cardstock starry sky on white cardstock and then that's embossed silver on starry sky and then that's the inside I haven't put a greeting on the inside yet so those are cards that i've done with that set and I've got the stamp set, to the sentiment set. This is lovely ribbon as well. And this glimmer paper is really nice too. And the festive, fo festive foils paper as well. So now we come on to the Scotty Dogs. So I'm going to show you some cards that I've made with the Scotty Dogs. So there's one. I've used the Christmas lights, dyes, uh, snowflake as the background. And there's some of the paper. I've done a video on YouTube to show how to do the technique to get checked spotty dog and you still have the eye as well. It's called the kissing stamp technique. And then that one, which is done in different colours, a bit unusual. That one's done in red. And then that's um, the picture this dies, which are really useful. And there's one again with that paper that I absolutely love. And then there's one I cased from a YouTube video using scraps of the... Um, designer series paper from the Christmas light suite. I can't remember what it's called. I'll just have a quick look, see if I can find it. It is called, the designer series paper is called Lights Aglow 6x6 designer series paper. It's there and it's really nice. Um, so those are the cards that I've done with the Scotty Dog so far and I'm sure that I will do many more and I hope to do a video to show you how to use the Stamparatus to do multiple uh, stamps of the bow and of the dog as well. So I'll just put those away in there. And this you could use for any time of year because it's got for wonderful granddaughter, for a terrific grandson, warm wishes, and then um, this here together or miles apart, you're always there in my heart. Uh, you could use those sentiments for any time of the year. Uh, quite a cute, whimsical stamp set, I think. Uh, and this one's proving to be quite popular. The North Pole Mischief with the cats, if you love cats, that's a, a must really. Um, and then this stamp set, uh, Trees for Sale, goes with a celebration item, which is the tree lot dies, and they're for a £90 spend, and uh, they go with that stamp set. So there's the tree lot dies in the celebration brochure, and uh, there's some more. If you like caravans, that's the one for you, because it's got caravan dies in that set. Don't forget the Whimsical Woodland embossing folder there, which is worth adding to your list. And then we've got the gnomes. Um, I hope to be doing a class with this uh, all bundled up set, uh, probably in August. That will be a product based class. And uh, if you like birds, there's your Christmas robin and the lovely die set to do the trees there. You can see there. 
Um, so the next one I want to come on to is the tree rings. I just find it if I go through the Halloween things. And oh, just don't forget, this is a lovely treat box. Uh, the designer treat bundle. Um, there's a lovely little box which is about one and a half by one inches, I think. So you could get a sweet treat in there. Lots of extras like the ears and the antlers and the bat wings. So you can make it for any occasion. And I want to show you some cards using the Ringed with Nature bundle on page 62. So this goes with, again, one of the celebration items, which is on page seven of the celebration brochure, the Rings of Love 12 by 12 designer series paper. And there are some lovely cards done with the Rings of Love um, dies and stamp set and so on. So this is lovely because you've got all these uh, lovely autumnal bits that you can do. You could do a um, one sheet wonder with. And that house is really useful and there's some really good sentiments thinking of you happy anniversary just for you love and warmth so i'll show you the cards um i've got one here i'll just open this bag up and get it out and i hope i'll do it. this side paste from another demonstrator uh, the little things you do make such a difference and then i colored the uh, die cut with the blends pens cut it out in very vanilla and then followed it with the blends pens. And then I have some cards here to show you. Um, get well soon. Um, and congratulations. Again, the picture this dies to cut out the rectangles. And these are from the designer series paper. Thinking of you, that was case from the catalogue. Get well soon. Thinking of you again with the house, then you could say, well, congratulations on your new home inside. Get well soon, where I've cut out the, the tree uh, section and then I've cut out the centre bit to highlight the mushrooms there which are very colourful and I've used the hedgehog punch actually to punch out the little circles um, uh, which I've just stuck on using my take your pick tool thinking of you with the birds yellow toadstools to match and then just for you so a series of cards done uh, using this stamp set which were really easy to do so that's those ones and the other stamp that I want to major, this goes with the bottled, um, the bottle punch in the annual catalogue. Um, we'll punch out that bottle there. Uh, the Splendid Day Suite has some fabulous paper. It's, um, it's really shimmery actually. Uh, if I can just find it in here. Um, oh, and I want to show you these as well. Here it is. Um, <clears throat> so that's, it's sort of, that's champagne, I think, one side, and then it's orange on the other. And then you've got a copper one, which is sort of plain on the back. Uh, that is soft sea foam with a gorgeous pattern on the back. Rose gold with a lovely sort of uh, leaf pattern on the back. And these are the vellums. I'll show you these now. Uh, I think they came on the same page as the gnomes, but you get basically six 12 by 12 sheets of vellum, and they... So you get three of them are in the sort of white velvet and three of them are in this iridescent. And so you've got that pattern in the white and the iridescent. And then you've got um, this pattern in the white and iridescent. So same pattern, but just done a different way. And then you've got this one in the iridescent and then the white as well. So just showing you those by the by. Um, and... I just carry on, I'm going to take, oh, this is rather a cute one. One of my ladies has ordered this one, the Forever Friendship, which has really nice sentiments with it. And somebody else, and she also said they liked the typewriter, which is quite, quite cute. My mother used to have a typewriter. Um, and then I'm going to show you the, um, the last one is the piece to you, which I think I've gone past it. I'll just quickly see if I can find it again. I don't know how I managed to miss going past that one, but I did. So I'll just see if I can find it looking back here. And probably I'll miss it completely. Let's just see if I can find it. I'm going to, the best way if you get lost in this catalogue is to go to the index here where you will find that everything is in alphabetical order. So page 41 to save me searching backwards and forwards. forwards. Thank you, Stamping Up. So these are some lovely Christian sentiments. This set is called Hope and Peace, which is really lovely. And then that's a fantastic stamp set for inking techniques, Peace to You. So I think most of my Christmas cards will be probably done using this stamp set. So that's just simply stamped. And then I've coloured in with blends pens. 
and I've got another one here that's just simply stamped in Starry Sky. Now, amazingly, this stamp set fits exactly with the stitched nested labels dies, uh, which retired about two years ago, and it fits absolutely spot on. So these are the nested labels dies, and I'm so glad I hung on to them. This one, I use sponge daubers to highlight Joseph and then Mary in blue, Mossy Meadow, and then I used um, gold ink around the star and then I put Wink of Stella and these are snowflakes from the Christmas Lights Suite uh, or Light to Glow Suite, can't remember what it's called but um, that was a fun card to make. This is using the baby wipe technique so basically you use a baby wipe, put your reinkers, drops of reinker on in different colours and then that is your stamp pad so basically here's the baby wipe here with the ink on take my stamp, put it on the on there, and then I just stamp it. And this one led to those colours. Um, and then I've got one that's with blues. And so this is the one I just re-inked an old one, and I got that. So it gives you a really nice effect. So this is a really fun stamp set for diff getting different effects. And just to show you... Um, this Karen Titus had a barn door card card like this. She did it in Starry Sky. Can you see the gold I've put there? Um, I think I used a sponge dauber for that. Um, that's that one and then I've got it in a different colourway here in Rich Razzlebury. So you could do all sorts of different colours for that. And then um, I've got one here that I haven't stuck on a card yet but you can see I basically used my Stamparatus and I inked it up in soft succulent, stamped it and then I went with a sponge dauber around in um, Evening Evergreen and stamped it. And you can see it's given you sort of a, a slightly darker line around the Mo Mary and Joseph. Um, and then this is the other stamp in the set, the church. So I stamped it in Starry Sky, coloured in green and brown. And then I put some embossing, shimmery embossing paste for the church. This one I stamped onto some of the 20, 22 to 24 in colour designer series paper stack. Uh, and I stamped in Versamark and then I put, I mix glitter with white embossing powder so you get it slightly glittery and that's how I got that card and this was just stamped and then I put some darker Knight of Navy around the edge to highlight it a bit and uh, those are those cards so that shows you the piece to you stamp set which I have done a lot of samples for as you can see so moving on, I just wanted to show you the end of the catalogue. Um, I wanted you to be aware that all the embellishments and papers and things are here. So this is where you find lovely ribbons to enhance your projects. There's the gold ribbon has come back from last year. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there it is. And it sold out last year, so I'm really pleased it's back again. Um, and don't forget from the annual catalogue, you've got these lovely soft ribbons that that's a lovely soft succulent and you've got evening evergreen and they tie really nicely. And I think there's a real red ribbon in the annual catalogue. Oh, it's probably, oh, no, it's not that one. But there's a real red ribbon as well. And then if you just look here, all the embellishments, all the lovely glittery, there's some um, glitter washi tape there. I don't know if you noticed that. Some flat jingle bell trinkets. <clears throat> some lovely uh, leaves as well and these lovely starry treat bags which I have got somewhere but I may well have misplaced them sorting them here they go here we go these are really quite solid so you get 10 in the pack I can just get this out so there's one and they're really solid cardstock really lovely for little treats and then if you put gold or silver or red in there that will make the stars uh, glitter if it's glimmer paper and then you can put a few treats in there and just tie a uh, punch a hole at the back, tie a ribbon through and put a tag on and you're done and dusted for little treats at Christmas. There are the wooden embellishments. There's also puff paint and uh, so that's really worth looking at. And one thing I haven't pointed out is the embossing additions toolkit on page 49. So if you like embossing, they used to, they sold this uh, a few years ago. You've got some very sturdy tweezers there, an embossing buddy, a brush to brush off the excess powder from your project. And there's the tray to do your embossing in. And then you just basically tip it up and the embossing powder goes back into your pot through that little aperture there. 
So that's £26 for all those. And black 12 by 12 cardstock is back. So that's £7.50 for 12 sheets. So that's worth, uh, it, that's worth it for boxes and things like that. So just moving on to the um, celebration brochure. Uh, so during July and August, if you spend £45, you can uh, choose a product from the Celebration brochure. Some of the products are for a £90 spend. So first of all, I'll show you the hippos. So I've got some cards here with the hippos. And you get dies to go with this as well, which is really good. So if I just uh, the dies, you can see how I've cut out a number of hippos with the dies just good to go, ready to colour. So here are the hippo dies. Um, <clears throat> you can see there's a boat, a bathtub, a propeller, um, a life uh, ring, sunglasses, flowers, an umbrella, a snorkel, uh, goggles, hearts, flowers, waves, little stars and a little flower. So lots of dies. So this is for a £45 spend, the dies. And the stamp set is free with a £45 spend as well. So these are some cards I've done using the Hippo stamp set. Um, haven't put the, um, I'll put the on point stamp set. Um, there's, uh, it says here, it says you're always on point. So that would go really well with that card. And then there's that one. And you can see the lovely little flowers as extra accents. This is using the picture, this dies again. And this was one that I will do a demonstration to show that one another time, another YouTube video. Good to have them up my sleeve, ready to go. So that's the hippos. That's the first thing that you come across in the celebration brochure. And both of those, the dies are for a 45 spend and the, um, the stamp set is for a 45 pound spend as well. So that's worth knowing about. Just trying to get these back in see if I can manage it because if I don't get them back in all those little pieces are going to go all over the place so that's that one I'll just take these out <coughs> and then you've got the um, rings of love 12 by 12 designer series paper so this is really nice and the guys for this set will cut out uh, the trees I didn't show you that before um, but I'll show you now. The, this is called a hybrid embossing folder. So basically, you can either just use it as an embossing folder like that, or you take the cutting die and you place it like that, put your cardstock on top, run it through, and it cuts and embosses at the same time. But the clever thing about the paper is that you'll find that this will cut out four sets of five rings each. One, two, three, four. So that's really good to know that that'll do that. And so that makes your projects easy. And the paper on the other side is really lovely as well, actually, with the toadstools and the little elements you can cut out. There are some trees. And then that's a sort of Christmas, really, Ponsettias. I would call that. Um, and then you've got the piece that's really useful for thinking of you, anniversary or new home cards. And then you've got the medallions on the back. And then this is very popular, the birds, absolutely gorgeous. And then that's gorgeous watercolour with salt, probably the original was before they took the photographs. And there's a lovely autumnal um, acorns and oak leaves. And then that's a more generic background. That's a checked background. And then some lovely flowers. So really lovely designer series paper. Well worth getting that to make a stash of autumn cards. So that's that one. And then we've got here the pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes. So the envelopes look like that. And they're lined as well. And then you get 20 envelopes, you get 10 cards like that. And then you get 10 cards that are pool party. And they go with a suite that's in the um, mini catalogue. The suite that it goes with is the Splendid Day suite, which as far as I remember, 
without looking it up is near the end of the catalogue. But just so to save time so that I'm not, I'll do show you again how to use the index system. So Splendid Day Suite is uh, Splendid Day Suite. It's Splendid Thoughts, it's called page 65. So if I just go to page 65, uh, those cards and envelopes go with this suite. So you can make a lot of cards with those cards and envelopes with that suite. So then we've got the stylish sketches. So I'll just show you some cards I've made with that. So there's a simple monochromatic card done with grey granite. And then you've got the ducks done on one of those cards I've just shown you, the pool party. But this is a soft seafoam one. And then there's an autumnal one using the other stamp set. So there's three stamp sets. Um, there's... Um, there's, a, there's the ducks, uh, the lovely autumnal sort of branch, and then you've got the fox and a little stamp that does the little spots, which is really useful. <clears throat> then we've got this white and gold. Um, you get 24 sheets, so you get six, which are gold thin lines on the white, and then you get six that are gold spots on white. And this was just to show last night that you can use blending brushes to make it any colour you like. And then we've got six that are silver spots and six that are silver lines. So that's really useful for Christmas projects. And then we've got a sentiment set here, amazing phrases. So these are £45 spends. Um, the tree lot dies are actually, um, they are a uh, £90 spend. And I have some cards here that I've made with them. So you get three trees and you get the cutout to do the snow on them as well. So I've done that one. And then that simple card. And then that one. And then this is with the trees and the caravan. You get all the little bits of the caravan, which is really nice. So um, you can actually use the, these go with the stamp set that I showed you that's in the mini catalogue. Uh, but it's also a set that it can be used on its own as well. Which is, But that's a £90 spend. Uh, and then you've got the ideas for different things. And then this is a £90 spend, the Wonderful World stamp set. So I've done a couple of cards using this. It's a beautiful um, um, defined stamp set. And as you can see, it's that. So you can actually use this using stamp and write markers. Uh, that's what I did for this one. And it stamps beautifully with stamp and write markers. And there's the cornflower, I think it is, with some of the background paper. And then that's the iris. As you can see, they all stamp out beautifully. So I'm just going to show you the papers. Um, they're really nice. Um, these ones, you could actually um, cut them out individually and put them on the card. And it's a gorgeous background paper there as well. So they go, they go very nicely together. And then you've got one with that, I think that's Mossy Meadow with the rose and it's yellow on the back. And then you've got this lovely sort of rose one that I showed you the card and that's the back rich razzleberry that's rich, rich razzleberry with a lovely delicate flower pattern on the back and then you've got this one which the rectangular postage stamp punch from the annual catalog fits perfectly around these as does one of the stitched rectangles as well so you could do a lot of cards using those and probably you could use a circle uh, punch or circle the stylish uh, shapes dies from the annual catalogue uh, would go really well with this as well I think let's just see so as you can see I've, I've used mine a lot um, but they'd fit round nicely and then you could also probably use the the squares as well if you wanted to so all sorts of shapes that you can use um, with these papers uh, and then just put them very simply in embossed white cardstock a little bit of uh, designer series paper behind and you're good to go. So those would be very quick and easy cards to make. So that's that one. And the last one is if you actually put in an order over £275, you would get the perfect pomegranate stamp set free. Um, so that's worth knowing about. Um, also, bear in mind, if you do put in an order over £150, so you then get 10% stamp in rewards, uh, there is this set in the mini catalogue that you can earn 
which is worth £20, but you'd only use £12 of your stamping rewards to get it. So that's worth knowing about. OK, well, that's it for now. Um, thanks for looking at all my samples and everything. And I hope that that's helped some of my customers to make any decisions about what Christmas products they may want. And hopefully see you again soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.